hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel my name is penny you are welcome if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe so um today's video is going to be a story time i'm not so good at telling stories but i'm gonna try i don't have any story time video on my channel this is the first one so i'm going to try um and today i'm going to tell you about how i almost cut off my arms here <laughs> yeah. because i almost cut off my arms because i was being bullied so yeah <clears throat> i have actually been bullied for like more than 10 years um for uh seven years was when i was um in primary school i have been to only one primary school in my life so i was there for like seven years and then three years was at my high school so um it was really bad um there were a lot of kids who used to bully me they bullied me for my skin color i mean even kids who were like so so dark i mean darker than me used to bully me for my skin color they would call me names like different names i still remember them i just don't want to mention that but it was so bad every time um i go to school when i see my school i get really sad because i know that for um like all those hours that i'm going to be at school it's going to be horrible for me people are going to call me names they're going to say these and these and what what and laugh at me and all that i mean you go to school for like five days a week monday to friday and for those five days it's just full of sadness and stuff like that so every time when it was time to go to school i mean to go back home i got so relieved i mean at least it's time for some happiness and playing and all that um so all this happened i don't know why um somehow i feel like it's because i used to come from the village every time so that is like home it's a home and i was the only kid in my class um like um i was the only kid in my class i think we were like two who used to come from the village so um there was really a difference uh between um a kid from a village and a kid coming from a town so my school was in town and i used to commute every time from home to school so uh yeah so kids um they knew about this uh, or maybe they could see that so i got bullied also because of that and there was really nobody that um was like protecting me or let me say uh, stopping these other kids uh, from bullying me and also um, the teachers would ask if there was something wrong with me because I'll be quiet I'm actually a quiet person and that actually makes it worse because I was always quiet uh, this were, um, would ask like is there something wrong what 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 anything happened and I was always saying no because I thought that if I say that these there's this person and this person said this to me or they did this i thought that maybe it will become worse if i report them so i just decided to keep quiet i didn't really have friends um sometimes people would talk to me or they would be nice if they see that uh i did something good like um i passed the test better than them then they will start uh, talking to me but it's just for that day it's just for that day or let me see those hours mm -hmm. I had a friend um, I remember her name I still see her on social media and she was really nice to me she never bullied me and all these people that bullied me in primary school I see them today I see them every day I see them on social media um, some of them would try to contact me and then I remind me of what of the things that I did some would deny and then others apologize and they'll say things that oh no i was just a kid or something like that but you can't tell me that you were just a kid no i cannot believe that if you were just a kid why would you say something bad to me but not to your best friend it's because you know that it's wrong and you know that it will make the other person feel bad so that was the aim your aim was to make me feel horrible bad about myself you knew very well you as a kid you knew very well that this was wrong so please just don't say that to me so yeah i see them everywhere some would say hi and stuff like that i mean i have forgiven them i can't be angry for like forever so i'm actually over it and i think i was a strong kid because i don't remember crying i was so strong and i was so good at hiding my emotions i don't remember crying because of us i don't I, so it was so hard for me to even report those kids to um 
my parents or anybody because I always thought that if I report them then they are going to do worse so <clears throat> yeah i remember having um an accident so my eye um got operated on and um i had to cover it like one side with because um of the sun like the sun was too much um it was still healing and i went to school because i missed uh, so many classes and then um, when i went everybody started laughing so the other kids were laughing at me and then they were calling me some name actually i think it's a movie where there's a guy with one eye and he used to cover it with um with a white thing like one side of the eye so they used to now call me that name i only went with that thing on for one day i think i even removed it before the end of the day like i had to remove it because now everyone was laughing like when i was walking everyone was laughing it was so bad because uh, when it was time to go to school, I had to remove that and I was so much in pain. It was so, so painful. <clears throat> it's like my eye got cut by a um, piece of glass. So that's why it was operated on. It was so, so painful and this uh, went on for like a week. <clears throat> and I got better and everything was fine. I didn't need that anymore. So yeah. So after my seventh grade, I went to a different school and I was there for like one year. So, um, it was actually fine. I had a lot of friends. Nobody was saying mean things to me and all that. So I had to change again to a different school. In my ninth grade, I was 15. So when I went to a different school, um, this is when our kids uh, were like, bullying me for my body or let me say body shaming i looked masculine and all that they would comment on my arms my legs so i even remember um when everybody started wearing skinny jeans that time they were like in fashion i bought um, a pair that i only wore once at school because i couldn't i started being insecure about my legs so i started only so i couldn't stand it like i didn't feel like i was looking good in skinny jeans and all that so i bought um i bought bootlegs instead so i was only wearing bootlegs but then the whole time you know when you're at school you wear a school uniform so it was so bad for me i was wearing a skirt when it's too hot you cannot wear pants it was so difficult so i was only wearing skirts so i had to wear like long socks I had to wear long socks just to cover my legs so that nobody would comment anything about my legs or anything like that so um yeah and then the shirt instead of wearing the uh, shirt sleeve I used to wear the long sleeve one just to cover my arms because um they were saying that the other kids would say things that oh my arms are too big and stuff like that so this so i started hating this part of my arms when i started comparing my arms to the other kids arms so i actually started noticing things that yeah my arms are actually um really big they are bigger than other girls arms so um that's when i decided to cut off the biceps and the triceps so this lower part and this upper part so <clears throat> I don't remember how old I was. I don't know if I was 15 or 16 that time. Uh, I think I was 15. Um, so what I started doing uh, was um, taking a belt, like a belt that is bigger than this, like those ones, the big ones, and I would tie that belt around my arm like this, like this, like so so tight that it was so painful so so tight and then uh hoping that after a few hours sometimes i would even go to sleep with it imagine how dangerous this is i'm like stopping the blood circulation it was um and that's why it was painful and the belt was too big so i would tie my hand for like hours um and hoping that when i wake up or after a few hours my arm will be small <laughs> i don't know how i was not so smart about that like 
so when i saw that um that was not working so um again it's noise coming from outside i started searching for doctors or just anybody that could help me um cut off my um arms or let me see just this part not like my arms not like the whole arm or something like that so yeah i started searching searching on the internet i couldn't find anybody i mean it's not possible because nobody ever did that so one day i was now looking at my arms and then um i was looking at it like this and i started moving it like this and i saw that as i move my arm like up and down like this um these muscles <laughs> they actually like you know they relax and then they contract and then i was like mm, there's a reason why i have these muscles and these muscles here so if i cut if i cut this part off and this part off my arms are never gonna move so that's when i was like oh this is actually impossible it's impossible nobody's gonna do this for me you know? i just had to be okay with it uh and i had been so much insecure about my arms for like a long time for like years just because people used to say things to me oh the other thing that i forgot about was my back you know my back is so like broad um so uh i remember one day i was uh sleeping it was too hot so i just had a tent top and then i was sleeping on my bed and the time I was uh, living in the hostel so i was just taking a nap and i, I had one girl say yo she was like yo she thought it was a man laying on my bed <laughs> i had her and i know that girl until today i know her but I know if I tell her that she said this to me, she she might not even remember so. But I remember everything. And uh, yeah, that was so bad. I couldn't even wear tank tops. I couldn't couldn't wear tank tops. So yeah, um, I had been so so insecure about my arms for a long time. I mean. Even until today it kind of kicks in but um i just try to stop myself be like no these things are not important there's nothing wrong with my arms i actually love my body so i feel like i went through a lot yeah i went through a lot for me just i feel like i was so so strong i mean even if somebody says something negative to me today don't feel bad i just feel like there's nothing wrong with me maybe there is something wrong with them guys i don't know but this was so crazy <clears throat> the thought of cutting off my arms or let me say cutting off my biceps and my triceps was so crazy <laughs> so this is the end of the story thank you so much for for watching my video oh if you have watched until the end yo thank you so much um i'm waiting for your comments <laughs> i mean actually there's nothing to comment about but yeah thank you so much for listening to me i'm not so good um at telling stories i tried i'm not so good i'm not so good at telling stories um i don't really know how to make things interesting um but for this i didn't want it to be interesting but i'm just telling the truth so yeah thank you so much if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe like my videos share with your friends watch my other videos and see you in my next video